Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. Today's video I'm very excited to do is one that I have never done before on my channel, but I saw this come through as a request to put on my Vlogmas calendar, so here we go. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my little perfume collection. Oh yeah, this is also a video I never thought that I would make because I've never been much of a perfume or a fragrance type of girl, but I feel like I actually have enough to be able to make this video, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to jump into it, I will share my outfit of the day. I did just finish filming and uh, I'm wearing the same outfit, but again, it's Vlogmas. We don't have time to change outfits when we're filming Vlogmas videos. So here we go. I don't even know when this one is going up. It's just on my calendar for December, so this is what we're filming. So I got my distressed jeans on and then also this little cropped sweater here. So this uh, look that I did, this Get Ready With Me, it went up earlier in the month. Uh, it is a Get Ready With Me where I talk about holiday season, living in Vegas, my move, going through a divorce, how I feel about all of the things. There's a little tears in that video, but I will link it up in the cards and also in my description box if you are interested in checking that one out. That's it though. Like I said, I've, I've not really been a big fragrance person. I feel like that definitely changed after my move. I feel like a lot changed after my move. There's been a lot of things that I'm interested in that I wasn't before which you know, is, is pretty obvious when you go through a pretty big life change if you're new to my channel. Hi, my name's Samantha. Um, I moved to Las Vegas from Iowa about seven months ago and I am in the process of going through a divorce. Um, I was with my husband in total for 15 years. So obviously a lot of things are changing in my life and it's been really interesting to see like what I gravitate towards, what doesn't really interest me as much anymore. But one thing that stuck out to me was definitely perfumes. So when I asked for Vlogmas ideas and I saw someone say, why don't you share your perfume collection? I was like, all right. So I thought that would be fun to do. So I'm gonna kick it off with one of my older perfumes and we're also gonna learn, <laughs> we're gonna learn a little embarrassing fact about me. Some of you might know this cause I know I've talked about it in the past videos and it's something that I was like, actively trying to work on, but I have this problem that when I almost get done using something, I stop using it. I'm afraid to use it up. I don't know why I do that, but you are really going to notice it with this video. Cause this first perfume that I have, or fragrance, I never really, I feel like I'm gonna say it wrong. I'm not a bougie type of fragrance girl. Okay, you're also gonna, you're gonna get it. I know that I bought this years ago. <laughs> based on a Sam Raventhal recommendation and I was so excited to get it. Yeah, this is from Atelier Cologne. This is their Vanille Incense stuff. So um, this is how much I have left, which, you know, it's a pretty thin bottle, more, you know, more of a travel size. We're gonna see a couple of these in this video, but it was like, I got to a certain point and I was like, no, I really like this one. And then I think also it played into it because it was like going out of stock a lot. Cause I remember putting it in a haul and then reviewing it. People were like, I really want that one, but it's always out of stock. And I was like, ah, so then I just stopped using it. This video <laughs> is gonna be like my own little perfume project pan because I'm like, no, I need to finish off some of these freaking fragrances. <laughs> so this one here, let me tell you, see, I'm looking at it right now. It's out of stock on this four website. Literally every single size is out of stock. So I have the mini size. This retailed um, for $30. So let me read it to you. I have no idea what I'm about to say, but let me read this to you. The fragrance family is warm and spicy. The scent type is warm and sweet gourmands. The key notes are vanilla, lime, and amber. The description is a modern take on a vanilla perfume. The sweetness of the seed and the bitterness of the vanilla pod from Madagascar are freshened by lime and coriander. The result, a perfume more cocktail than cupcake. I like that a lot. Um, I'm horrible at describing fragrance, but I really enjoy that it's vanilla. But like they said, I, that's a great descriptor. It's vanilla, but when you say vanilla, I feel like automatically our mind usually goes to that cupcake scent. It's not though, it's that warm, it's that spicy, it's more of that adult kind of sensual type of vanilla, if you will. It gets me feeling some type of way, but I really enjoy this one. I'm gonna use it up, watch me. <laughs> All right, next up, this one has been in my collection for a very long time. I know I got it gifted to me from something, like it, 
it wasn't from a brand and it was something to do with the book world I'm pretty sure I can't remember I've had it for a long time and then I had it set aside um, my mom used it when she was here like I had set it aside for her and my mom used it when she was visiting uh, last month or a couple months ago and then she was gonna take it home with her but she couldn't fit everything in her bag and so she had packed a box and I was gonna ship her the box but I know it's very strange shipping perfumes like when you go to ship they ask you if you're shipping a perfume and you have to like ship specialty or something so i was like i'm just gonna leave it here for the next time my mom visits because clearly i don't go through perfumes very often but it is in my collection and that one is the chloe love story but look at how cute this is like with this little handle and it has like a little bow over here i don't know i thought it was cute when i got it the scent wasn't really what i preferred but i feel like it's growing on me lately or maybe just now it makes me think of my mom so that could be it too uh so let's see i believe this size runs for 79 dollars. i want to say and let me tell you about it the fragrance family is floral the scent type is fruity florals the keynotes are jasmine and neroli floral love story the fragrance opens with the sensuality of an orange blossom luminous and intoxicating like the flush of new love the stirring femininity of jasmine stephanatus the flower of happiness gives the fragrance its heart the scent is grounded by the sensual strength and freshness of cedar wood creating an unforgettable essence of seduction. I think I'm gonna have way too much fun with this video actually now like I'm just like really having a great time. So like I said it wasn't totally like it wasn't totally me back in the day but I feel like it's it's grow I feel like it's growing on me these days. It does have a little bit of that more I feel like when I describe perfumes that I enjoy I keep coming back to the word like sensual, seductive, a little bit sexier, a little bit more like nighttime kind of thing and I feel like love story is kind of given that to me. Love story's given that to me. Next up, we have a very special one and also one that I started getting to the end and I stopped using because I have a problem. This is from Chanel. This is the Coco Mademoiselle. So you can see from the bottle here that it was it was getting down there. And this is a this is a nice size bottle. Does it say on here 3.4 fluid ounces? Let me just like look this up to see 1.2 3.4 fluid. This is a 138. Wow. See, perfume is expensive. That's another reason why I feel like I probably never got into it. And now I'm like, eh, treat yourself. I don't know. So $138. But I actually got this as a gift from Chanel. When I was here last year, February, Michelle Wong and Risa Does Makeup and myself went to Chanel and I know Risa and I bought shoes we bought the exact same shoes except hers were beige and mine were in black and I believe Michelle bought a bag um, when we were there and they gave us all these bottles of perfume and we were like Ooh! like we were so excited about it I couldn't believe it I got back to my hotel room in Vegas and I was like oh my gosh like this is so special to me because I was here in February to find a place to live because I was, I knew that I was moving here and I knew I was going through a divorce. So um, I, I had been looking at places all week and then I bought these Chanel shoes, which I still wear all the time. They're black and gold. I wear them so, so often. They're my favorite pair of heels, my most comfortable pair of heels, but they were, you know, kind of like a gift to myself of you're doing this. You're, you're, you're moving there. You're, you're moving on. You're, doing what's finally right for you. And then on top of that, I got this perfume. So this perfume is so special to me. And I think that's another reason why once I started to get, cause I wore this constantly, like I was so proud of this. And when people would ask me, what are you wearing? And I was like, oh, it's the Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. Like I just, it definitely made me feel some type of way. So this perfume has like a really kind of special story behind it. And I feel like, I really do wanna use the bottle up because I feel like that's just what I should do. But now I, like, I want to repurchase this and have it again because that scent, it kinda of reminds me of getting to Vegas because I did not use this until I actually moved to Vegas. I kept it in its little bag, like they put it in a little bag and everything and I just moved the whole bag with me from Iowa to Vegas. And I wore it so much when I first moved here. So when I when I do use this or when I smell this, it makes me think of first getting here and you know, first like being like Bambi and like learning to stand on my own. And so I have really good memories with that. So I really, I've watched Kathleen Lights um, and her perfume videos. And I wanna say maybe Jessica Braun has done some perfume ones, but where they, they talk about, you know, having scents that really signify a special time in their lives or a vacation or something like that. And that's kind of what I think with that one. So the fragrance family is floral. The scent type is warm floral. The keynotes are orange, 
patchouli and Turkish rose. That's a fun one. We have irresistibly sexy, irrepressibly spirited, a sparkling ambery fragrance that recalls a daring young Coco Chanel, an absolutely modern composition with a strong yet surprisingly fresh character. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right. That's cute. So yeah, that is my, my one, wait, is that my one Chanel fragrance? Wait, wait for it. Yeah, that's my one Chanel fragrance. Psych. <laughs> the other one that I was grabbing, I was like, wait, is it Chanel? Is it Dior? Which one is this? It's Dolce & Gabbana. <laughs> so wasn't even close. Um, but this is another travel size. I picked this up from one of my first a uh, handful of shopping trips that I did here once I got to Las Vegas I was uh, shopping the Sephora at um, the Venetian and I don't know I started talking to you know one of the workers and she had just moved here from St. Louis and I mean I think she like worked with the perfume brand because she was like really selling me heavily on this but I was like I don't know it smells good and I feel like we bonded so and I was looking for a new perfume because I was getting towards the end of my Chanel so I bought this one and look once again like halfway through it and then I just stopped using it but I remember I, I really like this one um so this the mini size was $29 the fragrance family floral the scent type warm florals the keynotes Fragapani flower, coconut essence, and Lang Lang. Is that how you pronounce that? Okay, all it says here with a little shorter description, but the Dolce Garden Eau de Parfum is a delicious flower blossoming in a garden where simple pleasures and spontaneity set the beat for a joyful afternoon dance. All right. I feel like that really sums up this bottle. I'm having too much fun reading these descriptions, but I like this one. I'm, I'm, once again, watch these be in my empties. Not my next empties, because I'm filming that one like really soon, potentially today. They're gonna be in empties videos, I promise you. <laughs> next up, we have my newest, right? Yes, my newest perfume. This was in one of my recent Sephora hauls. Um, so I picked this up from Sephora. That's what I was gonna say next. This is from Tom Ford, and this is the Tobacco Vanille, so clearly I, I, I have a preference here. But uh, Michelle Wong recommended this in her Sephora recommendations for the holiday savings event, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I got the mini size, which is 0.3 ounces, and it is $65, um, and I really like this one, and this one is so funny because I was wearing it the other night, and I went up to our complex, the bar restaurant at our complex, and one of the guys was like, are you wearing Tom Ford? And I was like, yeah, and he goes, the tobacco one? And I was like, the tobacco vanilla? Yes, he goes, that is such a sexy fragrance. And he's like, and it's unisex. And he was like, my wife loves it, I love it. Like, we all love it. And then I just kept getting complimented on how I smelled the rest of the night. It was quite nice, it's quite nice for me. But once again, I'll, I'll read you the descriptions, but you'll understand that I, I have a type when it comes to perfumes. The fragrance family is warm and spicy. The scent type is woody spices. The keynotes are tobacco leaf, vanilla, and ginger. Then it says, Tom Ford reinvents a classic tobacco with creamy tonka bean, vanilla, cocoa, dry fruit accords, and sweet wood sap for a modern, opulent, and heady impression of confidence and power. I also like this one. This is a direct quote from Tom Ford. Tobacco vanilla is an opulent, warm, and iconic, reminiscent of an English gentleman's club and blend it with rich spices, vanilla, and tobacco flour. It leaves a powerful impression. I think so too, Tom. I think so too. Next up, I have two that were just recently sent to me from Dossier. I'm not 100% I'm saying this correctly, and I actually wasn't familiar with them. I did a, a PR haul on my Instagram, and I had quite a few people comment to say you really like this website. They kind of have more expensive perfumes for a cheaper price, or they're, I feel like I saw some comments saying they're almost like dupe fragrances. I, I thought that was interesting, but I'm not super familiar with them, but I do have two and I have been trying them out. So one that I have is the Woody Sandalwood. Now this one I'm actually not a big fan of, which I thought that I, I, I thought that I would be. So this is regularly $49. Um, let's see. So this is, I've been reading off the Sephora website, so this one is a little bit different, but this one says the top notes are violet leaves and cardamom. The middle notes, orris, ambrox, cedarwood, cypril. The base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber. I really like sandalwood, so I don't know. I thought that I would really enjoy this one, but it's almost a little bit too... I'm trying to look over the description if I can understand what it is that's playing in there that I don't love. I do like this. Qualitative and minimalistic, Woody Sandalwood brings to mind the comfort of a warm hug, conveying a strong feeling of inner sensuality that's unmatched. 
by any comparable scent. So I'm not sure if it's the sandalwood is like too overpowering. I'm not sure what it is, but I remember the night that I wore this, I was like, I don't feel like I smell good. And it honestly, like it was kind of giving me a headache. So that one I didn't enjoy, but I really like this one. This is the Florential Orange Blossom. This one I'm much more of a fan of, and I didn't think I would be because I'm not necessarily like into super fruity. Again, like what I've been mentioning is kind of more on that like sensual kind of like darker nighttime side so i was like i don't know about this one but i like it top notes are violet mimosa and lang lang middle notes orange blossom gardenia and tuberose base notes are vanilla sandalwood and orris okay so it looks like this one is usually 29 dollars. oh this one says inspired by estee lauder's beautiful oh so may okay okay i get that all right it says this one is the scent of a thousand flowers the composition is led by orange blossom followed by tuberose gardenia lang lang iris and many others the style of the scent is typical of the 80s with a warm and diffusive diffusive base embracing this floral statement feminine and envelop and get it together Samantha. feminine and enveloping florential orange blossom is an eternal classic waiting to be rediscovered hmm. i like it because it's it's on that fruity side without being too much. And I can, I feel like I can still wear it as like a day to night scent, if that makes any sort of sense. <laughs> I'm like now like comparing it to makeup, um, but I like it. It's fresh, which I appreciate. So the other one, that woody sandalwood, this is inspired by Lilabo Fragrances Santal. Okay, so there we go. Learn something new every day. <laughs> Okay, the next one is one that I actually forgot that I had in my collection because when I opened this drawer, for some reason, I kept thinking this was a skincare essence. And so when I opened my drawer that had a few of my perfumes, I reached for this, but I was like, no, that's your essence. And then I was like, no, it's not. It, it is actually a fragrance. So I haven't used a lot of it, but I did spray it today because I remember I really liked it. This is from the Alchemy Corner, and this is in Sunstone. So I got this from Express. They carried this line for a while. I can't find it now online. I don't know if it was like an only in-store kind of thing. It was $20. The price tag is still on it. Um, so, but I really liked it. On the top, it says like confidence and success. And I don't know. I thought it was cute. But once again, I'm really bad at describing but it's one of those very fresh scents. Like I like to wear it more during the day. Um, it's not as like dark and sensual as some of the other ones. It's not super floral, not super um, fruity, but just kind of that fresh, vibrant type of scent, but without being too overpowering. So I wish I could find it online, but I'm still gonna use it because I like it, especially, like I said, as like a daytime fragrance. I think that's gonna be a good one. And then I just have one more. I feel like this video got longer than I intended it to be, but I was just having so much fun reading some of these fragrances. Um, this one here, I'm also almost out of it. This is a from Sol de Janeiro, and this is their, I cannot read, this is the Brazilian Crush um, 71, the caramelized vanilla and macadamia. So clearly I, I have a thing for vanilla. We've all been able to see that. So this one is $20, and let's see, it says a... Oh yeah, because this is a hair and body fragrance mist. A deliciously voluptuous hair and body fragrance with warm and welcoming notes of caramelized vanilla and toasted macadamia nut to satisfy every craving. So I like this one especially for, I, I feel like it could be day to night, but I really prefer to use it during the day. Again, I like that kind of more warm, kind of like toasty, cozy feeling to it. I really do like the vanilla, but I think that it could work. It could work for night, especially more like low key type of night. So I know I have heard that Sol de Janeiro recently got bought out by L'Occitane and L'Occitane is switching to an MLM format, which is to me, it's very disappointing. Um, I'm personally, and I know some of you might not agree, but I personally am not a, um, a big fan of MLMs myself. I feel like they usually end up hurting more people than they end up helping people. Um, I'm not super familiar with L'Occitane myself. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm not very familiar with them um, myself. There, I feel like there's been quite a few like buyouts and certain things happening in the beauty world. It's kind of hard to keep up with everything. But I was really sad about Sol de Janeiro because I just really recently, they sent me an, a really nice um, PR package with these different fragrances and I was super excited to try them out. But that kind of leaves me feeling a little on the uh, side. I'm not... Not quite so much a fan of that. I mean, I'm still gonna finish off this bottle. I just have a little bit left to go. But I clearly have a lot of other perfumes and fragrances that I can focus on and that I want to use up. 
Um, but after that, that's my that's my little fragrance collection. It's not large. I think I had nine here. So it's not too large, I don't think. I have a lot of minis in my collection also, but you know, we're finding some some scents that I enjoy and some scents that kind of bring back good memories or make me think of certain times. So I don't know, I had fun filming this one. I hope you had fun watching it. If there's any other videos you would like to see from me throughout the month of December, please do just comment and let me know because I am uploading every single day. But I hope you enjoyed seeing my perfume collection. If you did, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.